<laughs> Why didn't you tell me it was on? Chee! I did tell you. Um. Okay, here's the report. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Ahem. A new product has gone on sale. Shopping, don't forget to collect it.
So this is the time gate. The gene of connection. Sophia, Dr. Leingard said you have the genetic power to create a path through the time gate and into 4D space. Yeah, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Well, that's understandable. I'm sorry. Don't say that. There's nothing to apologize for. But I'm letting you all down. Don't worry about it. If you say so. Sophia's powers haven't manifested yet. I know. Well, we won't get anything accomplished just standing around here. Let's check out the gate. Good idea. What is it, Sophia? My head hurts. Are you okay? I'm just getting in the way, aren't I? Not at all, Sophia. And don't be afraid to say when you're hurting. It moves? This is how it normally operates. Uh, what is it? My hand. It's hot. What's happening? I don't understand. Sophia! She's manifesting. Uh, uh. You okay? I think so. Whoa! Wow, we check it out. The time gate. It's. What the hell is that? Look at that place it's showing! That's... that's 4D space. It might be. It is. How do you know? I don't know why, but I can sense it. Yes. This is 4D space. Yeah, I can sense it too. Something deep down inside is telling me that, too. Deep down inside, huh? Hmm. If you all feel that way, it must be. That means the Creator lies somewhere beyond this gate. Say, can we even exist in 4D space? Yeah, it's a completely different dimension. There's no way we can know for sure. Still, I don't think Dr. Leingard would have overlooked this. Right, but we can't know for sure, can we? I wonder. Come on, guys, don't talk like that. We've already come this far. Well, there you have it. Decisiveness is a virtue. You're right. Let's go, everybody. Let's find and defeat the Creator. came out of the Eternal Sphere display. Cool! Is that a new feature? Where are the Executioners? No clue, but this must be 4D space. Wow, we made it here safely. What a relief! It sure is. 
Hey, wait a minute. Isn't the enemy's home base supposed to be a little more tense, usually? Wow! Ooh, everything's so smart! On here. Hey, did I hear you say executioner? Uh, yes, you did. Who are you? Vlad Garen. That's not exactly what we meant, kid. Hey, don't worry. I'm not one of the bad guys. You're not a bad guy? You're a good guy? Come to my house. I think you may find out what you want to know there. Well, he doesn't look particularly dangerous. Hmm. Maybe you will learn something. That's right. Right. Okay, let's go. It seems like you know something about the executioners. And we've nothing to gain from staying here. Nothing ventured, as they say. Sometimes a real man's just gotta keep on going. It's decided then. Hurry up, or else security will come. Come on! Just sit there with your thinking face on. You're not related to those executioners, are you? No, not really. Hmm, how should I explain this? You guys live in the Eternal Sphere, right? Eternal Sphere? Yeah, check it out. That's... Huh? Why? That's a battle between the Federation and the Executioners. That's right. This is what's happening right now in the Eternal Sphere. What's happening? Hey, kid. What the hell is this Eternal Sphere thing, anyway? 
How can we see the fight between the Federation and the Executioners? Relax. I'll explain everything. The Eternal Sphere is a universe inside a simulator. Earth is one of the planets inside that universe. A simulator? You can watch the Eternal Sphere and the events happening in the Milky Way on any terminal. And you guys are characters from inside the Eternal Sphere simulator. Hey, what's this kid saying? We're just characters living inside a simulator? That's right. In other words, we're programs? Well, yeah, if you want to put it that way. So, you're saying that our universe is nothing more than a computer game? <clears throat> no, it's an online reality that everyone shares. Nobody can reset it, so it's not what you'd think of as a game. I guess it's kind of a parallel world. I... We're just puppets for you people to manipulate? Well, in a way, yeah. But you all have your own individual AI programs, so you're really not that different from us. It's not like we can move you around with a joystick or anything like that. That's why I think you're more or less like us. You just live in a different dimension. Thus, the parallel world. Mm-hmm. Then what are those executioners? Are they programs too? Mm-hmm, exactly. According to a recent press release, a problem was found in the Milky Way region of the Eternal Sphere simulation. That's where you guys live, right? They say if they don't do something about that problem, it'll affect the entire program. The executioners were sent in to delete anomalies that caused the problem. So they're fixing bugs. You're kidding me. I figured those things weren't gods, but now you're telling me they're programs? But wait. If we're programs, how can we exist here? If what he's saying is true, this should be impossible. Now that I don't understand either. That must be Maria's power. The alteration gene. Yes, that must be it. The power given to me by Professor Leingod. A program created by a program. It's kind of scary if you think about it. Say, kid, how do you know so much about all this? Cuz, my buddy works for the company that developed the Eternal Sphere. Her name is Blair. She told me all sorts of things. But don't get me wrong, I'm really not one of the bad guys. Then why did you bring us here? Mmm, curiosity mainly. Programmed life forms coming into the real world? Amazing! I mean, who would ever imagine such a thing? Now that you put it that way... You guys came here to stop the executioners, right? What do you think your chances are? Think you can do it? Security? Bad guys? Flat, did you? I didn't do anything! Freeze! Get your hands up! You people are under arrest! Mom! Mom, did you call security? Flat, what was I supposed to do? I was so worried about you. Aw, oh, Mom! Can't you mind your own business? What do we do now? Whatever we do, we can't let ourselves get captured. I'm with you on that one. Shall we? Yeah. Surrender quietly. What? An attack from behind?
damn you! That was easy. I assumed everyone in 4D was tough, like the executioners. I guess the executioners are exceptions. The executioners must be specially designed for the Eternal Sphere. Mm-hmm. I think you're probably right. Uh, I don't understand any of this. Here, this is for you! What's this? If you guys don't believe what I tell you, then check it out for yourselves. There's a special Eternal Sphere Terminal in Gemini. Go take a look! Vlad, stop it this instant! <laughs> Smart little brat. Let's go to Gemini like Vlad suggested, and figure out what this disc does. <laughs> 